The current Groundswell project is one where we give householders brassica bag now. It's made from a grown polymer, so it's made from a polymer that comes from plants. That bag product is completely compostable. We give people a, a very simple little plastic bin for their kitchen food waste. They put their food waste into that and when that bag is full, that bag is then placed in their large bin with their yard waste, so all their lawn clippings and tree prunings. That material is then collected, it's brought to, at the moment to two landfill sites where it's composted and turned into a high quality product. Now with these um, piles that we make, when we put the inoculant in it for the first time, we let it sit in a pile for about six weeks and in that time it's, it, it starts breaking down and most of the material actually should be broken down providing the moisture is kept right. Then we do another inoculant by spreading the, the pile out, checking for any in contaminants and we pull the contaminants out such as coke bottles and things like that. Then we actually put the inoculant on and then push into a pile which uh, Neville's doing at the moment on this particular one and that's left for another six weeks. If that looks pretty good then we let it cure for, for another four weeks and then that's ready for screening. So that means we actually move uh, that material back into the shed and screen it and that then takes out any any uh, forms of um, organic matter that hasn't broken down such as branches and, and also uh, takes out any um, contaminants, hard, that's, that's, uh, hard objects like um, plastic bottles, etc. It's actually got a really good product and it actually has passed um, uh, various tests and it's met uh, Australian standards and it's actually got a non-restricted use category in the, in the first batch. The main benefit I can see is to the community. The community can be involved in collecting their uh, green waste from the garden as well as their household organic waste. I just think it's wonderful because, um, well, it's going to do so much for the environment, but also in this street, along this part here, I know every fortnight the green bins are out every, every, every morning early so they get picked up. And the old, uh, domestic waste goes with it. In it, and there's no smell now at the tip like it used to be from food waste and all that. It's quite good, and no flies. I think the biggest potential for councils is a really cheap, affordable way to reconfigure their existing waste budget to be able to strip out half of what's going into landfill. To have been able to help uh, generate some knowledge and understanding and models about that has been really, really rewarding because we're showing very clearly that it's imminently possible and it's um, not scary at all. The food started on the land, so it really made sense for it to be returned. What wasn't eaten, what wasn't consumed, made the most sense for it to come back and be returned to the soils from which it started. And to me, that seemed very holistic and very complete. There still won't be a lot of agricultural land that gets treated with compost in the big picture. Goulburn, for example, in the last couple of years has produced about a thousand cubic metres of compost, say. That, that one thousand cubic metres of compost could be used by three farmers in this district. It's not something that's going to be for everyone. There's not going to be enough product for everyone, but it makes good practical sense to solve a waste problem by getting that material, turning that material into a resource and getting it out in, and filling a missing link in the, in the food production system. I don't see Groundswell as a project or city to soil as a process as being a waste management issue. I see it as an agricultural solution. What we've got is an engagement process that empowers people to look after their own food supply, to protect their own children against what might happen in the future. We need to understand as humans on this planet that to have any form of human economy, any form of financial transaction, we need to have soil everything you are, everything you eat, everything you ever were and everything you ever will be depends on what you put in your mouth. And if you put things in your mouth, if you eat, then you're involved in this project. And the exciting thing about it, I think, is that we've opened the door with the help of some amazing people in these councils and amazing dedication by the community. We've opened the door to another an entire new chapter in the way that we look at waste in the world. I see that the future for Groundswell is the creation of very, very valuable products and services that, that um, suddenly create a feeding frenzy of everybody wanting to get in. And I think there's a tipping point coming there, that suddenly this will not be something that we do at the end of stream because we want to be nice people. Suddenly this will be the most valuable resource in our community.
and uh, it's not far off, I can tell you.